So in this case, ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to do is um, now again, you can see we have, again, some difficult kind of expressions. And the main important thing, actually, that we want to do is we need to simplify. It's all about simplify and simplify, simplify. You want to simplify first. Just keep on simplifying. So basically, ladies and gentlemen, when we look at this, we say, all right, on this left-hand side, I can see I can factor out a, a negative 2. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So if I have negative 4x squared plus 2, I'll factor out a negative 2. When factoring out a negative 2, I'm left with an x squared minus 1. Would everybody follow me see with that? Yes? And guess what? We can also factor this even further. If you guys notice that x squared minus 1, we can factor that because that's a difference of two squares. Yes? Ah, you're right. I keep on doing that. Thank you. All right, so never mind. That is, um, we are going to leave it uh, as that right there. So, uh, so let's factor that to a negative 2 times 2x squared minus 1 over our um, denominator here, I have, if I write this as a trinomial here, I have negative 10 divided by 9. Uh, what two numbers multiply to give you negative 10, add to give you positive 9? That would be a positive 10 and a negative 1. So I can factor that into x plus 10 times x minus 1. And then plus 3 over x plus 10. Great, everybody follow me? Which problem are you doing? Okay. So now basically all we're all we're simply gonna do is we determine our L C D. And just like we had in the problem over there, you guys can see I have x plus ten, x minus one, and here's x plus ten. So basically our L C D is just going to be um, x plus ten times x minus one. It's just going to be the product of those. Uh, it's just basically going to be the product of those two. So now all I need to do to be able to combine this is I'm going to multiply my x minus 1 on both sides. And what I notice is I, I was trying to simplify to see if I could simplify this any further. But do you guys see, is this, going to is this going to divide out with any of these terms? No. So actually, you know what? I'm just going to rewrite this the way that it originally was put, because it's not really helping me out simplifying it. But you do always want to simplify to see if that can help you simplify further. So that's going to be over x plus 10 times x minus 1 plus 3 times x minus 1 over x plus 10 times x minus 1. Now, to, further, to finally simplify this, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute this. So that's going to give me 3x minus 1. I'm sorry, 3x minus 3. And then I'll basically just combine like terms. So I have negative 4x squared. Now I have common denominators, so I can just put them over 1. So I have negative 4x squared. That's going to be plus 3x. And then this is 2 plus 3x. And then this is 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3, which will give me when I combine negative 3 and 3, that gives me negative 1. And that's over. 